Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be our monthly video, our new releases for the next month in Cozy Mysteries. And so today we're going to be talking about March 2022 new Cozy Mystery releases. We have some that are historical fiction, we have some new series, we have some historical fiction ones that are favorites of mine. We have a bunch of new ones, I think 10 in total. So let's go ahead and hop into our first one. So our first book is called Cheddar Off Dead by Karina Moss. And this is a cheese shop mystery. This is the very first one in the series. So it's a completely new series. I don't know about you, but I of cheese so <laughs> this is great um just this year in january there was actually a new series released the grilled cheese mystery series i'll put a picture right here for you to check out um and i read the first one that and it was really good so i'm excited to see another cheesy mystery because i mean for me it's sweets and cheese those are like the two best food groups basically so anyways our cheese shop one here so basically we have our main character Willa who has recently moved to a small town in Sonoma Valley and she is a huge cheesemonger she's a huge fan of cheese it's always been her dream to open a cheese shop so she opens a French cheese shop it's called Curds and Whey which great name I think the I think the cover is really darling I love the illustration on it and she's really excited everything's going well until she hears that her first food critic is coming along and at first she's excited until she hears some bad things about this food critic and the fact that he is just never satisfied no one ever gets a good review and this is her very first review for her shop so she's very nervous however things quickly go from nerve-wracking to worse when she finds this food critic dead stabbed with one of her cheese knives <laughs> so she's quickly learning that even though She's a, a believer that cheese can solve anything. She's not so sure it can help her with this one, so she's going to have to use all of her wits to figure out what happened to this man and clear her name and save her new business because obviously that doesn't look too good for the business. I've never read anything by this author because she's actually, this is actually like her debut into Cozy Mysteries as a whole. She's never written anything, at least not under this name before, so it's actually not just a new series but it's a debut series as well so that's why I wanted to put it at number one give it some love it looks really good um, as per usual everything will be linked in the description for you down below if you want to check it out and I forgot to mention but this particular book will be coming out March 29th so you'll have to wait a little bit but it is available for pre-order right now so our next book is coming out March 1st so very soon after this video is coming up it's called Peril on the Page it's part of the open book mystery series by Margaret Luden and this is book three in the series our main character's name is Penelope Parrish and she's actually an American gothic novelist who works in a bookshop which really fun environment this is actually a British bookshop it sounds like it's located in England and she has recently solved two other mysteries this is the third book in the series and she's like okay we're putting this on hold, I'm only dealing with fictional villains from now on. I want to finish my novel. So she's putting a lot of time into finishing up her novel that she's so proud of when someone actually ends up dead inside the bookshop. So she's kind of, you know, whether she likes it or not, she's thrown into this mystery because it's directly where she works. So Penelope is on the case. I have not personally read anything from this series, but if you do enjoy a bookish, cozy mystery, it does have some really great reviews and it looks really interesting to me. Let me know if you have read this or any of the other series in this uh, video that I'm talking about. I always love to hear your thoughts on the series that I talk about. It always gives me lots of ideas for what I have to read next. But this one sounds really interesting to me. Again, it's going to be coming out March 1st, so really soon. Alright, so our next book is actually going to be the final book in a cozy mystery. I don't actually typically see, like, books called, oh, this is the final in the series. They, they tend to go on for a very long time, so I was a little surprised to see this. So I wanted to throw it in there in case you are a fan of the series. It's called Pleading the Fish, a beachfront cozy mystery seaside, and this is part of the Seaside Cafe Mysteries. It is book seven. It's going to be the final book in the series, and it's by Brie Baker. And so this mystery is like a tea shop and culinary mystery in one, all on the seaside, so perfect kind of beachy, springy read, especially if that kind of, you know, warms you up if you're still in colder weather. Our main character's name is Everly Swan and she is recently um, engaged to someone in a, like a, a someone in town a detective and she's kind of getting nervous because apparently there's some kind of curse or family curse like with, within her family that like leads to like bad luck in love I have not personally read this series but this is kind of what the summary is hinting at and she's kind of getting nervous and her view is trying to assure her that you know it's gonna be fine nothing's wrong but unfortunately a historian who is looking into her family history ends up dead inside of a well which seems like a very d difficult place to like accidentally like you know 
to die naturally basically so there's a foul play suspected right away and her detective fiance is on the case but she also starts to poke around because she has experience amateur sleuthing and just trying to figure out can she live happily ever after can she you know escape this curse that is apparently on her family so this one sounded really cute i love the cover i think it's so fun and summery so this one looked really good to me it's going to be coming out on march 29th and it does include drink and like savory recipes in the back as well so if you are a fan of recipes in the back of your mysteries like me this one that sounds like it'll be right up your alley so this next book i am especially excited about this actually um was in my most anticipated reads of 2022 i'm already on the list on hold at my library and i'm like number 18 on the list even though i put a hold on this in january and it's coming out march 1st so it's a, it's a popular series. It's called Wild Irish Rose. It's a Molly Murphy mystery series, which is historical fiction. And this is book 18 in the series. It's written by Reese Bowen. And this is actually the first book that Reese Bowen has a co-author, her daughter, Claire Broyles, which I think is really cool. I think that could be like a fun combination. And essentially, if, if you are not familiar with this series, it's one of my favorite historical fiction cozies. It's a tale of an Irish American woman named Molly Murphy who has traveled from Ireland over to New York City and become an American citizen and she kind of you know establishing her life in New York eventually gets married has a family all that sort of thing and so she's kind of at one point or another she had a private detective detective agency but she kind of gave that up to have a family although she's still gotten to plenty of mischief and different um, mysteries and stuff with each book of course but this particular book takes place where there is um, actually some sort of crime on Ellis Island, which is where Molly herself had originally arrived, and the suspect is a splitting image of her, and her husband is telling her this because he's like the chief of police, or like, a, maybe not the chief of police, but he's like higher ranking in the police, like he's a police detective, and he tells her that, and when she learns about the different facts about the crime, it's very similar to a crime she witnessed and experienced herself when she first came out. So there's, she's thinking there's some kind of fate or some reason that she should get involved with this mystery to help out this this, you know, the, um, the, the victim, basically. So I'm really excited for this. I love the cover. I... Respawn is one of my favorites. I have some of her Royal Spinous Mystery Series, which is my other favorite from her up there on my bookshelf. She's amazing. If you love historical fiction, highly recommend. I'm going to be very impatiently waiting as number 18 on the hold list for this. I believe multiple copies are being purchased, but still, it's gonna it's gonna be a while, but I'm very excited to get this book and read it. Okay, so our next book is actually another new series debut. This is called Under Lock and Skeleton Key. It's by Gigi Pandian, and it's gonna be coming out on March 15th. So this book actually follows a woman named Tempest Raj, and she's returning home to California after she's experienced an accident, and she just really wants to get back home, have some of her grandfather homemade Indian cuisine and stuff that she loves so much just you know kind of recuperate and whatnot and I guess the family business out there get this it's so interesting to me is the family business is like brings to life childhood fantasies so they build like sliding bookshelves and like different like hidden compartments and like things like right out of Scooby-Doo you know mystery where like everything's sliding and there's like a hidden room or something and so one day she's helping out with her family's business when what she discovers behind this wall that was not supposed to like be there that her former stunt double is found behind the wall dead and so she actually suspects that maybe she was the intended victim and that the family curse that is apparently on her family ha is taking place and so she has to solve this quickly before it strikes again basically so this sounds really interesting to me I've never read anything by this author but it sounds like she's pretty critically acclaimed and I think the premise sounds really cool like there's just so many fun elements between the um the former stunt double like I want to know more about her past there the sliding bookshelves in the family business like how cool is that um I always love like a grandparent kid relationship in these cozies that's that always warms my heart so I'm really excited about this and yeah this is gonna be again a first in a new series. So our next book is called Wedding Bell Blues. This is a tourist trap mystery which is by Lynn Cahoon and this is book 13 in the series. I know she's a pretty popular cozy writer and so I definitely wanted to include this. I love the cover. I think it's so much fun. And so our main character's name is Jill and she's the owner of coffee books and more in this town. However, she's not really focused on her business too much right now because she's about to get married. So there's a new dress shop that opened up in town 
that makes like beautiful custom dresses which is featured on the cover here and she is going by the store to pick up her dress when she discovers a dead body in the shop. Now despite her fiance who is a detective classic cozy trope there, despite his warnings she decides to do some sleuthing herself to try to figure out what happened to the, the victim and you know just kind of a perilous mission seeing if she can find out who did it seeing if she's going to be in trouble or danger herself and seeing if she can actually you know enjoy her wedding and get all this this messiness kind of wrapped up but i personally love the cover i think it's so beautiful i feel like i've read one lynn cahoon book before i don't know if i absolutely loved it i really want to give it another try because i've just heard so many good things about it so i think i'm gonna have to revisit and double check to make sure if i have or haven't read it and maybe if you have any recommendations from her let me know oh also i forgot to mention this book will be coming out march 1st so our next one is actually a series that one of you guys recommended to me i'm gonna pop the comment here on the screen and this is the organ honeycomb mystery series this in particular is the second book in the series that's being released and it's called a matter of hive and death and it's by nancy coco this book will be coming out on March 29th and our main character's name is May and she is with her Aunt Eloise who's taking care of her beautiful Havana brown cat and trying on different fun costumes and things for an upcoming event when May decides to go visit her bee wrangler guy because May owns the shop called Let It Be where she sells a bunch of different beeswax and like honey like based products like lip balms that sort of a thing and so she goes to visit her bee wrangler when she discovers him dead on the floor with a bunch of angry bees swarming around him however the bees weren't what got him he actually had a big blow to the head so she quickly you know deduces that this was obviously something with foul play she calls the police and the officer on the case who it sounds like she might have a little bit of a thing for uh, shows up and starts to go on the case and her and Aunt Eloise do their own sleuthing on the side. Plus I absolutely love in the summary it says that Ren and Aunt Eloise decide the only way to catch a bee wrangler's killer is to set up a sting. That is, I love it. I love the corny puns. I love it. I live for it. So this book sounds really good and I definitely am interested in checking out this series. Let me know if you've read it down below. Alright, so our next book is coming out on the 29th of March. It's called Three Shots to the Wind, a Chloe Jackson Sea Glass Saloon Mystery. And this is book three in the series, which is written by Sherry Harris. So our main character's name is Chloe Johnson, and she is a saloon owner, and she her saloon is kind of like on the uh, like beach, like seaside. And one day she's just, you know, doing her job, pouring drinks, when suddenly like an airplane flies by and writes in the sky, I love you, Chloe. And so she's immediately like, okay, you know, this is interesting because she is dating someone, but it's still quite casual. No one has said the L word as it puts it. And so she's like, okay, that's kind of odd. Um, but she kind of writes it off. And then she ends up getting her favorite flowers delivered to her and her favorite like expensive, uh, like, spirit beverage delivered to her as well and so she's like okay what is this and she realizes that her ex-fiance is in town for an accountant convention and that he's actively trying to win her back which she's not doesn't sound like she's very open to however unfortunately for her when she goes to visit him at the hotel and be like hey like back off she actually discovers instead that he is found dead in the lake by her house clutching a photo of her and of course you know, it's kind of unlikely that a, a random accountant would be, like, taken out by his business associates just for going on a business trip. Like, you know, I mean, maybe, I feel like an accountant probably isn't, like, the most risky business to be in in terms of, like, your personal safety. So the police are kind of on automatically looking at her and also her new love interest as well. And so to clear her love interest names, she has to figure out who actually did this to her ex-fiancé. So this one sounded really interesting to me. This is book three in the series, so you wouldn't be too far behind. Or if you wanted to hop in and get the first two books and read them beforehand, you could probably do that before this book comes out. So our next book is called Deadly Director Cut, and this is a Catskill Summer Resort Mystery. This is book two within the series, and it's by Vicki Delaney. And this is another historical fiction cozy mystery. It's set in the 1950s. So this book will be coming out on March 1st, and our main character in it is a resort manager named Elizabeth Grady. And she's getting a bit annoyed right now because she has this annoying pushy movie director who has decided that her resort is the perfect place for his film which could be good publicity for the resort however he's being extremely pushy demanding just 
absolutely ridiculous with his demands and one evening he ends up dead after being poisoned from a dinner at the resort. So Elizabeth is immediately on the case trying to figure out what happened. However, there's so many suspects because he has angered so many people including people at the resort just from his short time there but there's all these other people in the past that he's wronged, lovers, etc. So she is on the case trying to weed through this gigantic suspect pool to figure out who actually hurt the director. This one sounds really cool to me. I I haven't, I don't think I've read a mystery series set in the 1950s and I'm pretty interested in this. I find the artwork on this to be very beautiful, like the shading of her dress and everything I think is just stunning. So let me know if you've read this one before or heard anything about it. I haven't, but I'm really intrigued by it now. So let me know down below in the comments. And our last book is called Argyles and Arsenic. It's the Highland Bookshop Mystery Series by Molly McRae and this is book five in the series. Okay so this book features a murder at a manor and basically this woman named Violet after 93 years of a well-lived life she's decided to sell a lot of the eccentric belongings that she's gathered over the years. It sounds like she has quite has had quite the fun life and basically some of the people in the forgive me I'm gonna try to say this as correctly as I can Yon Bonnie books some of the women in that it's Scottish I'm I'm do apologize, I'm probably butchering that, but a couple of the women from that group who are the like featured protagonists in the series attend the sale at the estate and they're having a great time. However, another woman ends up dead. She's definitely having not, not as great of a time there. To top it off, the woman having the estate sale, Violet, finds a tin of rat poison missing and she tells the constable that and one of the group's grandmothers actually comes under suspect of killing this other woman, which of course is not okay with the group so they move quickly to try to clear the grandmother's name and find out who actually took out this poor woman. And that wraps up our new March Cozy Mysteries. If I missed any that you're excited for, please leave me a comment down below. I love hearing your thoughts on any of the series or books. Which ones are you excited for? Which ones did I miss, if any? And I hope you guys will hit subscribe. I do upload mystery-related book content every single week on this channel. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!